When a ship approaches the port of Karachi, it establishes contact with the office of the harbor master. Information regarding its name, flag and cargo is then conveyed to the deputy conservator of the port. A chain of communications begins within the port. Pilots are informed of their call for allotted ships. Each ship in turn is signaled about the pilot's approach. At Karachi port, a team of about 20 pilots works around the clock. They are experienced and skillful navigators and can safely guide any ship in all types of weather. As he boards the ship, a flag is broken on its mast, signifying that the pilot is on board. The pilot now takes temporary charge of the ship. The navigational channel of the port is about five miles long, both within and outside the harbor. The port is protected on the western side by Manora Island and on the east by Kimari Groin. This forms calm waters and a natural abode for ships. More than 2,000 ships enter the channel every year. The Karachi port has one of the finest harbors in the world. The story of 100 years of port development is a tribute to those who have striven hard to harness the forces of nature for the benefit of mankind. In August 1947, independent state of Pakistan was born. A new board of trustees was formed, Mr. Aminuddin as its first Pakistani chairman. Karachi being the only port in the region came under tremendous pressure as many of its berths had already become obsolete. on the reconstruction of 13 general cargo berths was initiated in the mid-50s and finished in 1964. The inaugural ceremony was marked by mixing waters from the seven oceans of the world as a symbol of international goodwill and friendship. tonnage of goods handled here was nearly 1.5 million tons a year. Today, about 18 million tons of cargo passes through the port, a 12-fold increase in 40 years. The port has kept up with the changing needs of time. New facilities are constantly being introduced to further improve its operations. Of the two floating cranes, Hathi has a capacity of 120 tons. The port of Karachi has contributed tremendously in building the industrial base of Pakistan. is directly linked to major cities and business centers by roads and railways. This has helped in building many dry docks all over the country.
The Karachi port has 36 transit sheds. They have a combined area of about 172,000 square meters. Roll-on and roll-off berths are available at Karachi port for the many car carriers that anchor here. The port, on average, handles over 10 million tons of liquid bulk cargo. The latest of the four piers in operation can take in ships of up to 75,000 tons. It has a modern shore-based loading and unloading system, which saves a considerable amount of foreign exchange by shortening the length of stay at the port. is forging ahead in its pursuit of excellence. It has made gigantic strides in the realm of containerization. Shore-based mobile cranes have been installed. Each year, about 600 container ships anchor here, carrying roughly about 8 million tons of cargo. rapidly changing world of transport, Karachi port remains responsive to the special needs of its clients in industry, trade and commerce. Karachi port has several flyovers that allow uninterrupted flow of traffic to the storage yards. day, the port operation carries on. The sound of activity can be heard round the clock. Karachi port is gradually computerizing its system for efficient servicing and data processing. The computer center keeps record of individual employees with respect to their gratuities, pensions, leaves and salaries. Apart from budgeting and financing of port projects, the computer center is also used for the generation of shipping and weather charts. The firefighting force of KPT is ever ready to respond to emergencies. Well-equipped and well-managed, it also serves the city administration when necessary. Every year, KPT sends 12 employees for Hajj at its own cost. The selection is made on seniority basis. Those chosen have given the better part of their lives in the service of the port. In view of the growing maritime commerce of Pakistan, new facilities are constantly being added to the port. The dredging work on deepening of the harbour was completed in 1980. This facilitates entry into the port of ships weighing over 75,000 tonnes. Mahmoudul Hassan trailing suction dredger has been added to the port flotilla. The dredger operates at the outskirts of the navigation channel. The dredging hands of the propeller sink deep, touching the bottom of the sea bed. The dredged water is collected internally in a huge tank until it is completely filled. In the meantime, the trawler reaches a marked point where the sea is deep. Here the silt is empty. The cycle of operation continues. 
The hundred-year-old Napier Mole Bridge had long outlived its utility. Work on a new bridge was started in 1973. The 1400 feet long bridge was inaugurated in 1982. It has been designed to allow three lane traffic in each direction. It has been named Jinnah Bridge in the memory of the father of the nation. In 1987, Karachi Port Trust celebrated its centenary. In the same year, it welcomed the largest liner of the world, Queen Elizabeth II. The passengers ranked Karachi amongst the best ports of the world. Why in the last century saw the emergence of a small fishing town? into a great port city. The new century offers a highly promising future for the port of Karachi. Karachi port forges ahead with innovations and new technologies playing a pivotal role in the development of Pakistan. Having inherited a glorious past and looking forward to a bright future, the port of Karachi stands as a gateway to the prosperity of Pakistan.